This is how you craft the jet gun on Liberty Falls if you don't want to spam the mystery box for endless amounts of time. There are three different parts that you need to collect, but you can do them in any particular order. But this time, when you craft it, it doesn't break like the original in transit. So one of the three parts can be obtained from a zombie that will spawn in near the graveyard called the Groundskeeper. He should be common, so I would just recommend keep checking back here. Keep just killing a load of zombies here, and he will eventually spawn in not too long. So you need to look out for his name because he'll only last on the map for around 20 seconds or so until he despawns and he's wearing a farming outfit, a flannel, very distinct from the other zombies. He seems to spawn in about once a round. After you kill him he will drop a tool shed key that you can pick up. So head left from where you are in the graveyard and you'll find the tool shed and you can go up to it and now open it. Inside will be the handbrake, the first part for it. I guess he built it. The next part you need to obtain will require you to have a mangle a cannon, which you are able to obtain from the crafting table or from a mangler drop. If you head over to the riverside, you'll see this electronic store here, and you just need to shoot it with your mangler cannon, which will break open the door. After you roam inside, you will see that there is a pile of debris, a pile of metal that you are able to interact with, which will give you the electric wires which you can collect. Now, the third part you need to get is probably the most difficult out of the three, so I recommend trying to do this on a lower round. You need to head over to Washington Alley, where there is Lily's Flower Shop. There is a water hose outside, and if you go up to it, you can pick up the valve. Now, you need to make your way over to the bowling alley, and you'll see that you are able to attach the water valve, simply shoot it to open it up, and then you can place the valve on it, and interact with it to turn it. You need to keep turning the valve for about 30-odd seconds, which is obviously quite difficult if you are on solo, which is why you need to do this on a lower round when there's not too many zombies, because if they're attacking you, you're going to be interrupted. I guess you can throw a monkey ball or something like that, or try and do it in between rounds. If you're in a multiplayer game, it's obviously easy. You just have someone to protect you. You also cannot leave the bowling alley, otherwise it'll reset. But the good news is you don't need to turn it all in one session, so if you just keep going back to it, you can keep turning it from the point it was left. It doesn't reset unless you actually leave the building. Anyways, once you've fully managed to turn it, you'll be able to pick up the pressure valve. Now, to actually build the jet gun, you need to go to the top of the motel. If you don't have already have it opened, you will need to do that. The door will bust open here, and some zombies will come out and attack you, so just be prepared. If you head inside, you can see the crafting table, and then you can build the jet gun, aka the Thrustodyne M23, but who calls it that? And yeah, let me know what you think of the jet gun now. Obviously, it's super, super overpowered, so much better to how bad it was in Black Ops 2 and not annoying. It's a radical, radical difference, so this may be a lot of your first time trying out the jet gun now if you haven't been lucky so far to get it. Without further ado, though, I'll see you on the next video with plenty more guides, so stay tuned.